Man it feels good to be back in first class. I know dude. We make a really cool brawn team. And speaking of which, remember last year when you were the team leader of the Red Cats back on the first day of camp? Yeah. I figured now that I'm back on season 2, I feel like I need a break from leadership roles for a while. It's good to know that you are this team's leader. Why don't we form a leader alliance? You know, I could use an ally or two this season. Sure, let's let our team together. We want to have more power than the brains and the beauty. Me and Ben have a good bond now that we agreed to form an alliance together. If at any time I become in danger, then we both can find ourselves a nifty advantage to help us in the eyes of danger. Ark, economy class sucks. I do not like losing challenges, even for a pretty magical girl as myself, cutie girl. Not to brag about it or anything, but if you are so cutie for a magical girl, how do you save the world, using stupidity? Actually, using my special magic and charm, I am a heroine of Justice and I came on camp Animal Crossing Season 2 2, Triumph over the Force of Evil. 友情と愛の力によって私は間違いを正し名誉と自慢の権利を勝ち取りますイーヴルビウェアキューティーゲイルイズオンザシーン、um, What is that horrible smell? Defeat I could have pulled the sled faster if Benjamin didn't come in before me We all know that's not true Well we can all bet on that Well at least be do is lucky to bring himself comfort of his own. You're Blair, aren't you? Can I talk with you somewhere outside economy class? Um, sure. What's in it for me? So Blair, when I watched your season last year, I was rooting for both you and Olivia, but we both know she's eliminated and she was your ally, right? Um, yes. Last season we were both pretty uptight. She made it to the finals last season because I helped her along with Marshall, who isn't with us this season, and Pearl, who was really getting on my nerves last time we met. I also used to have a good alliance with Roscoe until he didn't want to be my ally anymore. I don't know why, but she started dating Sky before competing again this season. It's like he wasted my time offering my unrequired services. Okay, that's good. Well, I for one think you are at a disadvantage without Olivia. Don't worry, I'll help you get out your least favorites if you agree to help me out. And how exactly do you expect me to trust you into helping me eliminate my targets? Well, I for one am having issues of my own. You see, I have to deal with Pearl since she was nothing but a pain in the you know what. If you help me take her out, I'll let you join my alliance. You sound really honest. Okay. I promise to assist you in taking out Pearl. You won't regret this. I appreciate your time, Blair. Rest assured, we will be the real alliance that will destroy anyone who crushes us. Pearl is going to have a bad time. Oh no. What am I going to do? Tasha is going to become the new Olivia and she wants me gone now. I have to keep this team from losing. Oh god, why did I do that? Why did I vote off Olivia? So Hopper, how many times did you apply for this show? I applied more than 50 times. You don't even know how much I want to win the trillion dollars. Just once. I figured this game is a rebellion tournament. You look more like a college student to me, because the way you are wearing doesn't tell me that you are a barbarian. That is nonsense. I came to be the predator against the prey. I slayed a gorilla before. Have you? Um, I'm gonna pretend you are a college student. You're more than welcome to try. How come Hopper is on our team? With the strength he's got, I always wonder what his weakness is. Today's next destination is Iceland, a Nordic island nation, home to volcanoes, geysers, hot springs and lava fields. The geysers of geyser skill are part of an active volcano field tucked under a skimpy 20 centimeter layer of siliceous center. Whatever that is, it sounds dangerous though, for today's challenge, you will scatter around the geyser holes to retrieve flags of your respective team's color, and you must place each flag in the basket. The team with the highest number of flags in the basket will win first class, second most flags will result in normal economy class, and smallest number means economy plus elimination ceremony. 
Hang on, if there are flags in the geysers, how do we get them out? It goes a little bit like this. You must untie the knot to retrieve the flag before the geyser goes off. Each geyser has a 5 minute cooldown, so act fast. Anyways, your challenge starts now. Wow dude, I've never been near a geyser before, and judging by how big the geysers are, this challenge is gonna be far from easy. Alright everyone, our team flag's color is green, so we must find our flags that are green and tied in a green knot. Remember that the geysers will go off after 5 minutes. Hell yes. We're gonna rock this challenge to the core. Alright. Let's start grabbing. Okay, let's see how deep this hole is and maybe that is where the flag is at. How do I get this knot out? This is hard. Oh crap. The geyser is about to go off. Ah! Wow, did you guys see that? That guy just got old by the geezer trying to untangle that flag. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. I better be careful out here, because where I come from, geysers like the ones in Iceland are really powerful and likely to turn you literally upside down, and vice versa. Alright, has everyone collected their flags? I got mine. So do I, we got to wait for the others to get their flags before the geysers go off. No you dumbass, that's not how you untie a knot. It is called concentration and patience I'll have you know. If you're on the heated battle, then you must always concentrate. Alright then, but hurry up, because by the rate of the sound going off down there, the geyser is going to go off in 5 seconds. That's exactly why you should concentrate. Observe. Okay. Forget I asked. Damn. We're wasting time now. The brats are getting more flags than us, and Bones is doing worse untying the knots on those damn flags. We have to tell him to hurry up or we'll lose. No worries, I'm gonna speed this up for Bones. You'll thank me later. Wait Gracha, what are you doing? Come on. Untie the knots already. Are you allegedly untying and retying the knots so you can cost us the game? Answer me. Hey. Will you quit rushing Bones? He's just having trouble getting the knot loose. Stay out of it. And you, if you don't hurry up, I'll tie you up to the ceiling at economy class, or better yet, I'll tie you to your parachute bag at the elimination ceremony. Pardon me son, but if Bones could speak, he would acknowledge that he is struggling and you should give him some more time. Hey! I said this is none of your concern. Alright Groucho, you need to leave Bones alone and continue untying the knots like the other teams are doing. Guess what, the geezer goes off in a moment, so untie that goddamned knot before I push you down the geezer and watch you suffer. I'm sorry, you're gonna do what to Bones? You wouldn't. Oh, I would. He's getting on my nerves and he will cost us the challenge. No, you are not pushing Bones down the geyser. Watch me. The hell was I supposed to do? That kid was seconds away to death. Good day. Hopper save bones. Thank God. This reminds me of this one time where my dad pushed me down a wishing well when I was eight, and it took me four hours to get back up. I ended up missing lunch after the ordeal. Imagine me doing the same to Bones, if I ever had the chance. After tallying up the results, I can confirm that the Bragg Group's basket has the most flags, so the Bragg Group gets first class once again. IQ Crew, you've got a lot, but not enough to beat the Bragg Group, so you got another night stay at economy class. Heavy Force, you clearly lost due to the lack of effort of your teammates. It's elimination, then straight to economy class for the night. It's all your fault, Groucho. Then we will scored another victory. I sure hope your parents teach you a strong strict lesson when you get home. What can I say? At least Bones tried, but Groucho pushing him into the geyser was kind of taking things too far.
So what if Bones doesn't talk? At least he's on the cross country and swimming teams at his school, which is why he's on this team. In case you guys forget, those staying in the game will get in flight snacks and if you don't get one, you'll be taking the drop of shame. The following players are safe. Agent S, Avery, Kevin, Mac, Chow, Bud, Roscoe, Peck, O'Hare, and Sid. Also safe are, Alfonso, Nate, Canberra, Megan, Cody, and Bam. Only two left. Come on, I didn't do all bad. What the hell? There is no way someone would vote for me. The final two bags of popcorn go to, Hopper, and... Bones. No. How come Bones gets to stay after he costed us the challenge for finding the not difficult to simply untie? You're all a bunch of suckers. Says the kid who nearly tried to kill Bones by pushing him into the geezer. Shut up. Let me tell you something homeschool. If Hopper wasn't here to rescue Bones five seconds short, Bones would have landed hardly, his skull would have been smashed into pieces, and boom, medical disqualification from the competition. What have you got to say for yourself? I have no regrets. I don't need the trillion dollars, I've got a little date with Diana planned after I am done. Bon voyage. Are you enjoying your sandwich Pearl? I know all about you Pearl. I've made a little alliance with Blair, and tomorrow, we will make your life a living hell. Watch your back. What do you want from me? Olivia was a huge threat last season. Don't follow in her footsteps. Well, you better watch your back, because if we lose, I'll see to it that the entire IQ crew takes you out. And trust me, when you challenge the samurai, you will face the sword.